Thursday morning. It's November 4th, 2021. I'm Guy McPherson of Nature Bats Last. You can find Nature Bats Last at GuyMcPherson.com. According to the IPCC, that's the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, climate change is abrupt and irreversible. And here we are in the midst of COP26. Let's go back a few years, say about 25 to March of 1995, 26 years and change, in Berlin, Germany. That's when COP1 was held. That year, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere never exceeded 360 parts per million. We're now about 410 parts per million, give or take, depending upon the time of the year that the measurement is taken. And it seems that in 26 COPs, we haven't really solved anything with respect to greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. From the incredibly conservative Wikipedia entry titled Climate Change comes this bit of information. Quote, climate change includes both human-induced global warming and its large-scale impacts on weather patterns. There have been previous periods of climate change, but the current changes are much more rapid than any known events in Earth's history. End quote. The Wikipedia entry cites the August 8th, 2019 report, Climate Change and Land, published by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The IPCC is among the most conservative scientific bodies in the history of Homo sapiens, yet it concluded in 2019 that Earth was in the midst of the most rapid change in planetary history, citing peer-reviewed literature and reaching these, this conclusion. Quote, these global level rates of human-driven change far exceed the rates of ch change driven by geophysical or biosphere forces that have altered the Earth's system trajectory in the past. And they quote a paper by Summer Hayes in 2015 and by Foster and colleagues in 2017. Even abrupt geophysical events do not approach current rates of human-driven change, end quote. As an aside, 2019 was the year the Oxford Dictionary chose climate emergency as its word of the year, even though it's two words, climate and emergency. Regardless, doing so did not dampen the ongoing rapid rate of climate change. The Wikipedia entry points out the consequences of abrupt climate change currently underway, including desert expansion, heat waves and wildfires becoming more common, melting permafrost, glacial retreat, sea ice loss, increased storm intensity, and other weather extremes, along with the extinction of species. It also points out that the World Health Organization is calling climate change the greatest threat to global health in the 21st century. Doing so has not slowed the ongoing rapid rate of climate change. Oddly enough, the entry from Wikipedia continues, quote, under the 2015 Paris Agreement, nations collectively agreed to keep warning, warming well under 2 degrees C, or 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, through mitigation efforts, end quote. Unfortunately, renowned professor Andrew Glickson pointed out in his October 2020 book, The Event Horizon, that the 2 C mark is behind us. Specifically, Glickson wrote on page 31 of his 2020 book, quote, during the Anthropocene, greenhouse gas forcing has risen by more than 2.0 watts per meter squared, equivalent to more than 2 C above pre-industrial temperatures, which constitutes an abrupt event over a period not much longer than a lifetime, end quote. Not much longer than a lifetime. Now that is abrupt climate change. The IPCC admitted to the irreversibility of climate change in its September 24, 2019 special report on the ocean and cryosphere in a changing climate. Thus, 2019 was a banner year for the IPCC as it concluded climate change is abrupt and irreversible. After the occasional report by the corporate media during the standard 15-second news cycle, this critically important information was relegated to the dustbin. Apparently, news about sports and celebrities is far more important to mainstream media outlets than retention of habitat for life on Earth. How conservative is the IPCC? Even the conservative and renowned peer-reviewed journal Bioscience includes a paper in its March 2019 issue titled Statistical Language Backs Conservatism in Climate Change Assessments. The paper by Gerardo Perez and colleagues includes this information. Quote, we found that the tone of the IPCC's probabilistic language is remarkably conservative and emanates from the IPCC recommendations themselves, 
complexity of climate research, and exposure to politically motivated debates. Leveraging communication of uncertainty with overwhelming scientific consensus about anthropogenic climate change should be one element of a wider reform, whereby the creation of an IPCC outreach working group could enhance the transmission of climate science to the panel's audiences." End quote. Contrary to the conclusion from Gerardo Perez and colleagues, I cannot imagine the IPCC is interested in transmitting climate science to the panel's audiences. After all, as Professor Michael Oppenheimer pointed out in 2007, the United States government during the Reagan administration, quote, saw the creation of the IPCC as a way to prevent the activism stimulated by my colleagues and me from controlling the policy agenda, end quote. It seems the IPCC was designed to fail. Mission accomplished, U.S. government, with plenty of help from others. Thanks for staying tuned. I include all of the links to the work I've cited here at the associated post at GuyMcPherson.com. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell so you re receive further notifications, and also become a member, if you'd like, of the Nature Bass Last YouTube channel. We'll and doing so will allow you to see bloopers such as the 27 takes it took to produce this particular video. We'll try to produce another one of these science updates in about a week. Please stay tuned.